Hello friends, in this lecture we will discuss another short story, The Beloved Charioteer, written by Shashi Desh Pandey. First of all, we will talk about a little bit about the writer and then we will talk about this uh, short story in detail. So Shashi Desh Pandey is one of the famous Indian novelists writing in English. She has written a number of novels. So her first novel is Dark Holes, No Terror. She has won Sahitya Academy Award for her very famous novel, That Long Silence. Through her novels, Shashi Desh Pandey, she talks about uh, family relationships. She talks about the plight of Indian uh, middle class women. These are the favorite themes of Shashi Desh Pandey. In, a, in other words, she talks about uh, women through her works. Now we will talk about the short story, My Beloved Charity. Now through this short story, Shashi Desh Pandey, she talks about three things. First of all, she talks about mother-daughter relationship. Secondly, she talks about the plight means bad condition of Indian wives in, in Indian society. And then she talks about impact of Electra complex. Now, what is Electra complex? Electra complex means when a girl or when a daughter loves her father. So Electra complex means the love of a daughter for her father. That is called Electra complex. So she talks about these three themes through this short story, My Beloved Charity. We will discuss these themes in detail when we talk about this short story in detail. Now, there are overall three important characters here. And all the three characters, they are female. So these characters are Azi, who is the narrator, means it is Azi who tells the story. Then we have another character whose name is Priti, who is Azi's granddaughter. In other words, Priti is Azi's Preeti is Aziz's granddaughter and Aziz is Preeti's maternal grandmother. There's a third important character who is Aziz's daughter whose name is Aarti. So Aarti is Aziz's daughter and Preeti is Aarti's daughter. So these are three females characters here. Now there's one more character here though there are two important male characters but then one is Madhav. Who is Madhav? Madhav is Aarti's dead husband because when this short story starts, he has died. And there's one more character who is Aziz's husband. In other words, who is Aarti's father. So do no doubt there are five characters, but the most important characters are the first three, though there's a little bit a reference about the two other characters also. Now, when this short story starts, it's morning time. Aziz is waiting for Preeti. Now, there's a daily routine of Aziz that Aziz takes a cup of tea with Preeti. Preeti, she wakes up and she comes to Aziz and Aziz asks her to brush her teeth. Now, Preeti, she doesn't want to brush her teeth. She requests her grandmother he, she requests her grandmother that she will brush the treat tomorrow. But Aji, she insists Preeti to brush her teeth. Only then a cup of tea will be given to her. Preeti goes and as all the children do, she goes and she comes fast. Now Aji says that no, you haven't taken the, you haven't brushed your teeth. But Preeti says no. She has brushed the teeth and she shows her mouth and she asks her grandmother to smell whether she has brushed the teeth or not. So when Preeti, she comes back, she bangs the door. As he asks Preeti not to bang the door. Why? Because banging of the door, the loud noise of the door may disturb Aarti's sleep. Preeti tells Azi, Preeti tells her grandmother that her mother Aarti 
will not wake up why because she has fallen asleep late at night and this is the usual habit of uh, aarti that she doesn't sleep early at night actually she keeps on reading a book and she keeps on smoking cigarettes and that's why aarti she doesn't uh, sleep early and that's why priti she tells azi that aarti means aarti who is priti's mother means aarti she will not wake up quite early now priti she uh, gets ready for the school and she goes to the school so when priti she leaves for the school so there is a silence in the house and then azi tells that now this silence doesn't hurt her why because she has got accustomed to the silence seven years have passed since her husband died and during these seven years azi has become accustomed to the silence so now the silence doesn't disturb her the silence is broken when priti she comes back from the school so it's afternoon now it it gets afternoon azi is preparing lunch and aarti she wakes up she comes to the kitchen she takes a cup of tea now from the you can say that actions of azi and aarti we come to know that there is no communication between azi and aarti they don't talk to each other what is the reason the reason we get from this short story that aarti is angry with her mother why because azi she didn't inform aarti about the illness of her father and aarti she came to know about her father only after her father died and that's why aarti who loved her father more than her mother so she is angry with azi and she is angry with her mother azi and there is no communication between between azi and aarti but however azi she tells in the short story that once she asked aarti did she sleep well and aarti she talked rudely to her mother and she told her mother as 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 he that she should not ask such questions such type of question to her and she tells her mother that she hardly sleeps at night she tells her mother that after the death of her husband madhav whom she loved a lot whom she loved more than her daughter priti and after the death of her father whom he, whom she loved more than her mother her life has gone blank and that's why she doesn't sleep at night and from aziz thinking we also come to know that once azi she asked priti to go out of the house because priti she doesn't go out of the house she remains in the house once azi asked priti to go out of the house and priti she replied azi that she doesn't like going out why because whenever she goes out and she finds a couple laughing and talking so she feels like murdering them because she can't tolerate couple talking and laughing why because she loved her husband madhav more than her daughter and from aziz thinking or from aziz thoughts we also comes we also come to know that there is no good relationship between a priti and aarti aarti who is priti's mother she doesn't take care of priti she doesn't love priti this is mother daughter relationship because there are two types of mother daughter relationship first mother daughter relationship it is between aarti and priti aarti she doesn't take care of priti she doesn't love priti on the other hand we have the second type of mother daughter relationship between azi and aarti and what is there azi the mother she loves her daughter aarti 
she takes care of her daughter arti and that's why she tries to make her daughter feel happy because azi she doesn't like smoking but she allows smoking to her daughter arti if arti feels a little of comfort by smoking so she allows even smoking to her daughter arti so there are two types of mother daughter relationship and there are two different types of mother daughter daughter relationship in this short story so in the in the case of priti and arti arti the mother she doesn't like her daughter priti she doesn't take care of her daughter priti on the other hand priti she likes her mother she loves her mother and then we have the second type of relationship between azi and arti in the case of azi and arti the mother azi she loves her daughter arti she takes care of her daughter arti but her daughter arti she doesn't love her mother azi and she doesn't care even of uh, her mother so there are two different types of uh, relationship and from this uh, short story we also come to know that priti no doubt she sleeps with her mother arti but she doesn't want to sleep with her mother arti she wants to sleep with azi why because her mother arti when uh, priti sleeps with arti so uh, priti's mother arti she doesn't talk to arti rather she keeps on reading the book she keeps on uh, smoking uh, cigarettes and arti she doesn't like the smell of smoking and that's why that's why a priti not arti actually priti priti she doesn't like the smell of uh, smoking and that's why priti she doesn't want to sleep with her mother arti now meanwhile arti after taking a cup of tea she visits her father's room now azi she has kept her husband's room as same to same as it was when her husband died though azi she cleans the room daily but she hasn't changed anything there so arti who loved her father more than her mother she she often spends her afternoon in her father's room so when azi she finds arti going to her father's room so now azi she decides to talk to her daughter earlier azi she didn't get enough courage to talk to her daughter arti but now azi she decides to talk to arti so when azi she visits her husband's room she finds arti sitting on a chair her legs on the table and arti smoking cigarette so as arti hears the sound of the opening of the door arti is surprised and she quickly takes her uh, feet or takes her legs out of the you can say the table now in meanwhile on the table there had been a photo of uh, arti's father now that photo who was framed in glass it falls down on the floor and it is broken so arti she takes the a photo she feels sorry to her mother azi and she tells her mother azi that she will get this frame uh, this this photo framed again now azi she tells arti that she doesn't want this photo in the room now arti is surprised to hear her mother talking like this that her mother she doesn't want the photo of her husband or arti's father in the room then uh, then aji she tells arti all about her father she tells arti that her father was not a good man rather her father was a cruel man she tells arti that her father that her father didn't love azi she didn't take care of uh, azi 
she also tells arti that her father he didn't like tears and that's why when arti's two infant brothers died so aji she used to sleep she used to sorry weep she used to weep secretly not in front of her father because her father didn't like tears and that's why she used to weep in the backyard of the house then azi she tells also arti that her father didn't like untidy and loose hair and that's why azi she used to she used to comb her hair before her father woke up woke up and then she further tells arti that azi azi tells arti that she felt fear of her father she tells arti that when she used to sleep with her father if she felt thirsty she didn't have the courage to go and to quench her thirst because she feared that her movement might disturb her father's sleep and azi she was not able even to cough while she slept with her father means she was so full of fear of her father so she tells this reality to arti and meanwhile as arti now arti is surprised she is shocked she is stunned why because she loves she loved her father more than her mother that is the impact of electra complex because she loved her father more than her mother and that's why she didn't have good relationship with her mother and that's why she doesn't have even good relationship with her, with her daughter priti that is the impact of uh, impact of electra complex the theme of uh, mother daughter relationship we have already talked about the another theme which shashi desh pandey she presents through this short story is the plight of indian women and the plight of indian women or the plight of indian wives is presented through the character of azi because azi when she tells arti about her father so she tells that her father or aziz's husband had been a cruel one and the treatment which is given to azi is normal in indian society because in indian society the indian wives they normally get this type of treatment they feel fear of their husband they don't dare to raise the voice they obey their husband so that situation which which had been in indian society is presented through the character of azi so this is the third thing which shashi deshpande she talks about through this short story so meanwhile while azi and arti now azi she uh, further tells arti that once when arti and madhav they visited their home so at night one day azi she heard arti and madhav laughing and talking and she tells arti that she even felt envious of arti she felt envious of arti why because her daughter got a very loving husband but on the other hand aziz's husband had been a cruel one so she tells her daughter that she felt envious of madhav she felt envious of her daughter arti so meanwhile while they are talking uh, these things priti she comes back and when she comes back hearing her sweet voice they stop talking and in this way the story ends so it is an excellent story written by shashi deshpande and shashi deshpande through this short story talks about three things which we have already talked about now you must know the meaning of the title also i didn't reveal the meaning of the title at the beginning because i thought that you will be able to better appreciate the meaning of the title 
only towards the end of this short story. Now, the title of this short story is My Beloved Charioteer. Do you know? The word charioteer, it refers to God Shri Krishna in Mahabharat. Do you remember? In, in Mahabharat, in the Mahabharat, Shri Krishna acted as a charioteer to Arjun. As Shri Krishna provided courage to Arjun to fight against his relatives. Similarly, in this short story, who is the charioteer? Beloved means dear. So my beloved charioteer means my dear charioteer in this short story stands for Preeti. So it is the Preeti after whom the title, the, there, there is the title of the short story. My beloved charioteer refers to Preeti as in the Mahabharat. Shri Kishan provided courage to Arjun to fight against enemies. Similarly, in this short story, Preeti, she provides courage to Aji to live in this world, to tolerate the sorrows and sufferings of this world. And that's why the name of the title is My Beloved Charity. So that's all about this short story, my beloved charioteer. So I hope that you will like this uh, short story. You will like the summary of this short story. And if you like this lecture, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Oxbridge English. And also don't forget to like, comment, and share this video so that so many students, they can be benefited. Thanks for watching this lecture.